Solve the inequality and then write the solution set in interval notation. We have 3 times the quantity x plus 4 plus 3 is greater than or equal to 4 plus 3x. So let's go ahead and then write this inequality down and let's go ahead and solve. So the first step is we're just going to go ahead and write this out. So we have 3 times x plus 4 plus 3 which is greater than or equal to 4 plus 3x. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to distribute the 3 and proceed as if we were solving an equation. So we have 3 times x which is 3x, 3 times 4 which is plus 12, plus 3, and that's greater than or equal to 4 plus 3x. Okay, then we need to determine if we need to combine like terms. So we can combine like terms here. So we end up getting 3x plus 12 plus 3, which is plus 15. And that's greater than or equal to 4 plus 3x. Okay, and now we're going to solve for x. And so in order to do that, we need to subtract 3x to both sides of the inequality. Well, what happens? Well, we see that this becomes 0 and that becomes 0. And we end up with 15 which is greater than or equal to 4. Now, the variables have now um, eliminated because we were trying to solve for x, but now we need to look at the statement, and we need to ask ourselves, is 15 greater than 4? Well, the answer is yes. So we can say that 15 is greater than or equal to 4, so this is a true statement. So what does that tell us? Well, okay, the inequality is always true, which means that the inequality is an identity. And recall that an identity is a statement that is true for all values of the variable. And this means the solution set of that particular equation is all real numbers. So the solution set is all real numbers. And therefore, recall that the set of all real numbers extends from negative infinity to positive infinity and not including the endpoints. So we'll just graph this real quick, because remember that when we talk about all real numbers, this is what the graph looks like. Okay, we're going from negative infinity to positive infinity, and then when we say all real numbers, that means that we're including everything on the number line. And so therefore, we're going to have parentheses negative infinity to positive infinity as the interval notation. So let's go ahead and put in our answer. So we have parenthesis, left parenthesis, negative infinity, comma, positive infinity with the right parenthesis. Check our answer, and then there is our result.